Hello guys, I hope you are doing really great. Today I am back with a December 2020 visa bulletin. I know you guys are waiting for this video. So I thought I'll make a quick update. This video, this video should be really very quick. As I explained in the previous November 2020 visa bulletin video, uh, it depends on the number of people downgrading from EB2 to EB3. That's going to decide the fate of EB3 final action dates and date of filing in coming future. So that's what it happened. EB3 dates, uh, EB3 dates went backward, uh, especially in the uh, date of filing. So I'm going to discuss all those details in this video. Please do watch until the end. And if you have not subscribed yet or if you are here for the first time, Please do subscribe to Kathana Kimi channel for information and entertainment related videos. And please do remember that these videos are just for informational purposes only. So Welcome back guys. So December 2020 visa bulletin is out like two days ago. And let's first discuss about the final action dates. For EB1 category, the final action dates moved uh, really good I say. So it moved from uh, 1st December 2018 to 1st April 2019 and uh, in the coming future in the several months uh, I hope it will become current so good luck for all the people who would qualify for the EB1 so it's just the waiting period so you guys gonna get it soon let's go to let's get into the EB2 category so for the EB2 it, uh, it did not really move much again I'm discussing about the final action dates first okay we'll discuss about the date of filing later uh, in this video so for EB2 category, the dates moved really like one week to I think 10 days ahead. Yeah, it moved from 22 September 2009 to 1st October 2009. So it's not a very big moment. Uh, for the EB3 category, the dates went uh, 15 days ahead. So from 1st March 2010 to uh, 15 March 2010. So as you see like really the dates did not move uh, uh, very significantly uh, especially for EB2 to EB3 categories. Right guys, now let's discuss about the important thing that you guys are waiting for dates of filing. So for EB1 category the dates of filing moved by two months so it went from 1st September 2020 to 1st November 2020 so it's gonna become current soon no matter what that's very very clear for EB1 category. So for EB2 category, it did not move at all. It just stayed at 15 May 2011. Compared to November 2022, uh, December 2020 visa bulletin, the dates just stayed at the same thing. 15 May 2011 for EB2 to category. It did not move at all. For EB3, the interesting part is here. For EB3, it went back one year. It retrogressed from 1st January 2015 to 1st January 2014 that's really a huge drastical decrease okay it went back by one year as you know it depends on number of people that would be downgrading and directly applying in the EB3 category and also please do note that October and November 20, 2020 visa bulletins the dates were at that uh, 1st January 2015 right so they do still have time until November 30 uh, to file for that so uh, I feel that USCIS is, uh, USCIS is still counting all those applications and receiving those applications. So it's going to take uh, uh, another one month or two, another one month or two months. So the dates going to, I mean, the, it, it depends on the number of applications that they will receive. That's going to decide the fate of EB3 category if it's going to move backward. Okay. Uh, and if you remember, I clearly said that until your priority date becomes current, in EB3 do not worry about downgrading until if you want you can be ready with uh, uh, documentation I have a friend who had a priority date in uh, 1st March 2015 and he was really hurrying up uh, uh, to make the documentation and be ready that's really good ready with the documentation but since the dates of filing went backward uh, now he's in, in he's in hold mode okay he can't do anything until the dates come back to uh, his his priority date so <clears throat> And also another important point is as of now when while I'm making this video there is no clarity on what dates need to be used for December 2020 visa bulletin. If USA still allows to use the same dates of filing uh, you know people are in good position to still apply for that but we really right now we really don't know as of now while I'm making this video there is no clarity from USCIS if you have to use the final action dates or dates of filing 
for EB2 EB, for all those employment based categories. So let's wait for their uh, let's wait for their decision uh, what they will come up with because that will also have a really huge impact on how the dates gonna go uh, backward or forward in EB3 category. So. Uh, all right guys this is what i wanted to share in this video so if you re if you like this video please give out a thumbs up if you do not like this video please dislike the video and put your feedback in comments i'll be more than happy to review uh, apart from that if you have any questions uh, do not uh, feel free to put them in the comments i'll be more than happy to answer to and guys corona cases are increasing day by day so it's not yet over try to stay home as much as you can if you have go if you have to go outside please do not forget to wear masks. All right guys, stay home, stay safe, bye.